All right. If you've been watching some of my videos, you can tell I'm into cinematic cine whoops. This is my main platform, the Reptile Cloud 149 with the GoPro Hero 8 hard mounted on it. And I use a 1500 milliamp hour pack. It gives me about 10 minutes of flight time. It's a lot of fun. But one of the issues I had with this is it's kind of heavy. And uh, it's a little intimidated to take it into some smaller spaces or to fly it real slow and low. So I designed another one. I call it the Wren. It's a two and a half inch form factor with a 350 or 850 milliamp hour pack. And I have a camera that's about half the weight. This is a Cam Park V30, which has image stabilization and a gyro built in. And the quality of the video is just about as good as what's on the GoPro Hero 8. So I fly this a lot now. Almost more so than I do with the, uh, the larger platform. But just recently, Insta360 has come out with this camera called the Insta360 Go. It's a little compact HD camera, so 1080p, uh, that's got a little magnet built into the back. And the idea is you just kind of clip this onto yourself and you, it'll take short clips. Originally they designed it so you just put it on your, on your uh, lapel or whatever onto a clip. And it will take a, a 15, 30, or 15 second, 30 second, or a one minute clip every few minutes. As you go about your day and that where you can splice it together at the end of the day and make a little video about it well the fpv people said boy this is a really slick thing a very lightweight i think it only weighs 20 grams could we use this on some of our fpv drones so they contacted the company and sure enough the company says yeah we can boost that up to a five minute uh, video clip but it gets hot so um you have to be able to make sure you're giving it good airflow. But anyway, they did recently come out with that five minute option. And so I decided, okay, I'm going to design a little bracket for my uh, Emacs Tiny Hawk uh, freestyle drone. So I just made this little metal bracket, attached it to the front strut locations. And with the built-in magnet on it, I can fly it around like this. A little extra security, I could put a rubber band around it. But the first thing I wanted to test was how hot this gets on its own, no heat sink, and measure that uh, characteristic over that five minute period where it warms up and then see how long it takes to cool back down to room temperature. And then run the same test attached to this heat sink slash bracket on my freestyle and that's what I'm going to do here I'll show you those tests and that'll be it thanks for watching All right, so you see the result of the thermal testing. Uh, the unit does get pretty hot on its own, so it's probably not a bad idea to put it on a metal surface if you can do it. Otherwise, give it some time to cool down between the five-minute recordings. Otherwise, the temperature might just continually build up and damage the device inside. Uh, I did mount this on this uh, Tiny Hawk Freestyle. It flies fine with it. It's a very light performance light platform so it's a little bit hard to get the uh, the type of Cinewhoop type of performance that I'd be liking to see maybe I just got to tune my rates down a little bit on this thing um, as far as the footage goes uh, I'll do a separate video on that it was a little challenging to get used to this device not only how it behaves but also how to manage the files that come off of it as you're putting it into your uh, video movie programming program 
and uh, so I'll give you some tips on that in my next video other than that it's kind of a neat little device I'm sure I'll use it but it does take a little bit of getting used to some of its characteristics compared to what we're used to with a regular GoPro device. Alright, have a good day.